The real question is, does it deserve it? And can you justify the reason for that government funding body to give you that money? Hi, my name is Beatrice Barboskela and I am the co-writer and producer of Suburban Wildlife, which is a little film that's currently having a ball on the film festival circuit. I recently got development funding from Screen Australia to produce a 2 by 10 minute web series called Chen PM 3010. It is set in the year 3010 when no one wants to be Prime Minister anymore. It is drawn out by a national lottery and bumbling fool but lovable guy Aaron Chen is selected to be Australia's next PM. Applying for government funding is a daunting and time consuming task. So I'm here to help and give some tips on how to navigate the whole process. Understand why they'd want your story. Some of the questions that you need to ask yourself in this process is, is my story an original idea? Do Australians want it? And why specifically are you making it in Australia? What is the budget that your story demands? Is it a higher concept that needs a bigger budget? Do you need to employ more expensive actors, bigger names? Why does, for example, Screen Australia need to help you get to where you need to be? For example, our film Suburban Wildlife, it is a relatively low budget film. We didn't exactly need government funding for that. We were able to actually crowdfund. So with Chen PM, we knew that even though we had a great writing team, we wanted to have some input from people higher up with more experience to come on as script editors or help with punch ups and whatnot, which is really helpful with the development funding that allows us to do that. And we were also future proofing the project because we know further down the line, it's gonna demand VFX and higher named actors and everything else. So it kind of was a good move for us to go that way. Know where it's going. What is the end point of all this? Is it to get super rich and famous with this amazing tiny web series or is it a talent booster that kind of puts your name on the map? These are some of the things that you need to think about um, when applying and justify those reasons in your application. For example, Chen PM was definitely seen as a talent booster for me and the team. We had gotten um, so far in the progress of our personal careers that we thought that it was time for us to kind of push through into the industry and hoping that with the success of this project that we'll be able to work on more things that comes of it. One thing that I wish more content creators would focus on when starting a new project is what is your audience? Who are they? Where are they? How will you get them to engage with your content? Include all of this in your application because it is one of the most important things that they will look at. Knowing your audience and knowing that you're going to have people actually watching your content, it helps the funding bodies know that they're making the right choice by backing your content because it justifies it and knows that there's demand out there. Make sure you know what's so great about your team. Put yourself in the place of the investor. Imagine you've got three random filmmakers coming up to you asking you for money. How do you know that you want to give money to them? How do you know that they will use it wisely and they actually know what they're doing? Here, it really helps to have an extensive list of past credits, whether it's your own filmmaking or even if you're first ADing on a small commercial shoot. Show your work, show what you've done, brag about it. So with 10 PM 3010, we knew we had the Ocean's Eleven of development funding. We had Aaron Chen, who is a brilliant comedian and hosted his own TV late night talk show on the ABC. We had Alexi Toliopoulos, who is a great podcaster and also comedian, but also fabulous director and assistant director who has worked on multiple kind of small comedy sets. I also recently completed Suburban Wildlife, which was my first feature film that I co-wrote and produced, and that really helped in the application, showing that we had crowdfunding that went successfully and we were heading to festivals with it. 
I think another thing that helped out was the fact that Alexi and myself had already worked together in that kind of producer-director capacity during our time at Afters in the BA. It kind of helped us show that we had a good track record of making content together. So I guess the biggest takeaway is really interrogate yourself every step of the way through your application process because why do we want to give it to you? My final tip is to follow all of the government funding bodies on social media because you never know when a new funding initiative is coming out and if you follow them on socials you'll be the first to know. If you like that please uh, check out the video that Alexi Toliopoulos made about podcasting. It's very informative and I might start my own pod.